Hello there, my name is Liesl, and today we are going to talk about uh, getting rid of span and unnecessary divs. So oftentimes, when we copy and paste from external resources, such as Microsoft Word documents, PDFs, websites, and then in Canvas doesn't translate really well, which is why we kind of get these span tags and these div tags. So um, not saying that divs are bad, we can use divs, but sometimes if we have divs that don't have a specific code, that can interfere with assistive technology. So let's just go ahead, select edit uh, in a page, and let's see if we have any spans and divs we can get rid of, and how do we get rid of them? So first I'll place my cursor at the end of pronunciation. We can see here that in the bottom left-hand corner of uh, the rich content editor, there is a span tag. And this page looks pretty simple and straightforward. There really shouldn't be a span here. So we'll need to delete that, but let's keep going. I'll use my down arrow on my keyboard to go line by line, and I'll continue to look at the bottom left-hand side. All right, so here at due Saturday, January 25th, 2020, I see a div and a span. Again, with those two tags, uh, those could be problematic for assistive technology, so we will need to get rid of that as well. Okay, and this image is AP, which is a paragraph, that's fine. And then here we have another span tag, which we'll need to get rid of as well. Uh, and it looks like the rest looks good. Okay, so, Let's start with uh, these two sentences. Uh, the, the easiest way to get rid of spans is to highlight the line and then uh, select in the rich content editor clear formatting, clear formatting. So you'll see now in the bottom left hand corner that span is now gone. Fantastic. Okay, so we have a div span. M means um, uh, that's basically italics, okay, and then the end span. So let's see if we can use the clear formatting to get rid of that. Now we see those span tags have disappeared. All we have left is that singular div tag. We will need to go into the HTML in order to remove that. Uh, but before we do that, I'm going to jump to the header to pronunciation, and I see that there's a span, so let me go ahead and uh, select in the rich content editor, clear formatting again, and fantastic, the span has disappeared. Unfortunately, that div is still existing, so we will have to go into the back end HTML editor in order to remove that div. Now, if this is the first time you've gone into the rich content editor, it's a lot of information, totally get it. So uh, on your keyboard, you can quickly find the div tag. If you're not used to HTML, hold down Control and F, Control and F, and bring up the search function of this page. So I'm going to type in div, and notice that the browser will automatically help me find those div tags. So that's one quick tip to find those divs. And of course, I'm just gonna go ahead and delete those div tags. So if you're not familiar, each tag has these little brackets on each end, and there's two. Okay, so I just removed two, and you can go ahead and, and replay that um, if you need to see the differences between the tags uh, and, and which ones to delete. Okay, so I am going to select Rich Content Editor to go back into the Rich Content Editor. Okay, double check. Okay, looks like it's paragraph. Now I'm going to do a, a quick double check, make sure all those span and divs are gone. And they are gone. Fantastic. So. All you have left is to select the Save button. You just learned how to remove span and div tags. If you have any questions, please let me know. I hope this helps. Thanks for watching. Bye.